Hello, it's Becca, and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. It's a beautiful summer morning here at our little farmhouse on the northern plains of Iowa. Coffee has been brewed, beds have been made, and bagels and juice have been served to the little ones. And lately, I've been really into making omelets in the morning, usually just for my daughter and I after she wakes up. And the chickens have been producing quite a lot of eggs now that the weather is warm. So we're really thankful for them. But I'm also really thankful for you for making the time to stop by for a little visit this morning. I'm going to be adding some fresh green baby bok choy to my omelet that we have growing in the garden, along with fresh herbs, tomatoes, and lots of good other things. One thing I make sure not to do while eating breakfast, or any meal for that matter, is multitask. Simply taking the time to enjoy what has been prepared, either by your own hands or by the hands of others, and savoring each bite in a relaxed manner not only helps quiet your mind and keep stress at bay, but it's a wonderful way to be thankful and express gratitude for food that nourishes us through mind, body, and soul. So I made my way into our early summer garden. Beans, cucumbers, squash decided to show up. The beginning of a tomato has been sighted. So just really excited. I can tell you one thing though, if there's anything that can be learned and cultivated through gardening is patience. It takes so long between the time we sow until the time we see those little sprouts of all shapes and sizes. There's definitely been failures and little life lessons to be had in the garden, but the good will always prevail in the end. Okay, so enough rambling for me. There's work to be done.
So noontime will be here soon, and I harvested some of our rhubarb that I will begin canning this afternoon, hopefully. But before you leave, let's take a minute to walk back the way that we came. The rhubarb's been harvested, the front porch flowers have been watered, the garden has been tended, the dishes have been done, breakfast has been eaten, and breakfast has been made. Eggs have been gathered, coffee's been brewed, and everything that we've done today, we'll do again soon when we wake up in the morning.